Greetings, YouTube. One of the things I see all the time uh, on news articles I read, uh, on videos I watch, and news pieces I listen to on uh, NPR, is people are talking about facts. Well, some people are talking about facts. Not everyone is talking about facts. You see, some people seem to confuse facts and opinions. They're not the same. And just because you're really loud doesn't mean your opinion is a fact. Facts don't have political bias. They're just facts. So when you see articles about like Ron DeSantis and other uh, members of the fascist state trying to do everything in their power to eliminate actually teaching facts to children, you have to ask what they're trying to hide. They don't want the kids to have facts taught to them. Why? Why do they fear the facts? Because the Republican Party is terrified of knowledge. They are just pants shitting terrified of knowledge. Because knowledge could lead to critical thinking, and if you're a critical thinker, you're not going to vote Republican. It's really that simple. Unless you're a billionaire, um, voting Republican makes absolutely no sense. Um, if you are a member of the middle class, what little of it remains, or those in eking a, 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 a life out on the edge between the middle class and poverty, um, it makes no sense for you, it never has and it never will, to vote Republican. Um, so all they have to do to keep you voting is to get you mad, keep you scared, and make sure you don't understand facts. So they don't want the kids to understand the facts of the world around them. They don't want them to actually learn our history. They don't want to know about how we tried to wipe out indigenous people. They don't want to know about one of the first things we did was, you know, steal, kidnap black people and bring them here as slaves and prisoners of war, essentially, and force them into labor, strip them of their entire culture. And, uh, and then blame them for their plight after the Civil War was over, even though they had nothing to do with it. Of course, they all the, 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 the slave owners got to keep all that wealth they earned. And the government actually paid them for the slaves that they had lost during the war, which makes no sense to me. Um, none of the slave owners should have kept a dime. They should have not received any money from us. They should have been stripped of their all of their wealth and it should have all been divided up amongst the people they had formerly owned and let them now reap the rewards of the work and the labor that they had created and the wealth that they had manufactured. But that would have been the moral and the just thing to do, but we didn't do that. Um, and even that, even the, even the knowledge that we treated former slave owners with kid gloves it's not something that the, the Republican Party wants, wants children to know because that would mean admitting that slavery was bad. And they can't do that. If they admit slavery was bad, that means that white people did bad things. And to the Republican narrative, white people don't do bad things. White people are always the saviors, which, of course, always has been and always will be absolute bullshit. Um, as the as the saying goes, white people ruin everything. We have been very good at, at destroying entire cultures, wiping out entire uh, peoples, societies, and languages. I mean, we we have wiped out hundreds and hundreds of languages, just eradicated them from the face of the earth. We have stolen children from their families and put them into residential schools. And sometimes they just get thrown into mass graves when they didn't survive the process and the families were never told. Those are facts. They're what happened. Kids need to know about this. Obviously, you want to be age appropriate. You don't want to, you don't want to start out at first grade telling them, you know, how we stole children and then murdered them because that means that would undermine the indigenous people's ability to, to perpetuate their own culture into the future. No, you, you have age-appropriate types of lessons. But that would involve teaching children facts, and the Republicans don't want facts. They're terrified.
So we have to endorse facts. We have to defend libraries and defend teachers and defend curriculums from the Republican Party because they're out gunning for them all. They want to eliminate public schooling. They only want the elite to be able to afford an education. They want all the rest of us to be completely and absolutely ignorant, unable to do anything but follow their demagogy, their fascist state narrative. So, yeah, let's uh, let's throw facts at the at the at the Republicans. Let's just keep tossing facts. There was a quote I heard recently from an actual Republican uh, strategist that he said the reason that they have a hard time pushing back against ads put out by the Democrats is the Democrats tend to deal in facts and they can't fight those. So they may just make, you know, opinion pieces and they attack the person or they make up things, but the actual facts themselves, they can't dispute those because they're reality. I mean, they, some of them do because they're really out there on the fringe, but the smarter ones don't. They just decide to go in a different tactic. They don't go after the facts. They go after the person spouting them. They try to give people the idea that, you know, their alternative news sources are just as valid as real ones. Of course, they aren't. If your only source of news is Fox News, you don't have a source of news. So let's let's deal in facts and, and let's tell the Republican Party all day long, twice on Sunday. <laughs>